I've shown you what pi is, which is the relationship between the diameter of a circle and its circumference. Yeah, where we've seen that if we have the circumference of a circle and we divide that by its diameter, we get pi. So make sure you've seen my previous video before you continue with this one. Knowing this relationship, knowing that pi is a number, 3.1415, and continues loads of decimals, we still don't know what pi exactly equals to. But because of this relationship, we can now write down the two very important formulas. One of them, the formula for the circumference of a circle, the other one for the area of a circle. The circumference of a circle equals 2 pi r, which means 2 times pi times the radius. And the radius I have explained is the length of that line from the midpoint of your circle to its circumference. That is the radius. I'll put an r there. So the circumference is 2 times pi, and 2 is a number, pi is a number, so the only unknown, the only variable then, is the radius. 2 times pi times r, 2 pi r. The area of a circle equals, well area is always a centimeter square or a meter square, isn't it? Millimeter square. The formula is pi r squared pi times the radius squared, pi times the radius times the radius. And again, pi is a number, 3.1415. And you can, you can check your calculator if you want to know, if you put it on. In my particular case, it is shift, and then the standard form button, it gives me pi. And if I go to those decimals, it gives me 3.1415926540. But we say pi, yeah, because these decimals, they will continue, yeah? Hundred thousands of decimals, yeah? But we just use pi. The area is pi times the radius squared. Now, these two formulas, the formula for the circumference of a circle, 2 pi r, and the formula for the area of a circle, pi r squared, those are two formulas you just have to remember. You need to know them. And um, uh, if you wake up three o'clock tonight, yeah, in the middle of the night and you walk out of your room because you have to go to the toilet or whatever and your mom asks you what is the area of a circle you have to be able to say area of a circle pi r squared yeah and if somebody else catches you on the uh, watching the television and you're half asleep and they ask you circumference of a circle you should be able to say 2 pi r okay that's how well you should know these formulas and they're quite similar 2 pi r for the cir circumference, 2 times pi times the radius. And for the area, considering that's a centimeter squared or a meter squared, it is the radius squared times pi, so pi r squared. So if you like, that 2 travels to the radius there, uh, pi r squared, centimeter squared, meter squared. Okay? Now, look at the example videos, they're uh, much more useful uh, to learn these things while doing questions. Yeah, where I'm going to apply these formulas, and if you do the same, you will always remember them. 2 pi r, pi r squared. I'll see you there.